Um, so, uh, good morning, or good afternoon, I guess it is, right? Everybody, uh, my name is Joanna Kepka, and like Dave, I am a geographer, um, except Dave is a physical geographer and I'm a human geographer, right? So, it's a big <laughs> difference, uh, a bit of a difference, right, uh, for us in terms of what we do. But another thing that is different, I suppose, for us, and by the way, I'm in the Honors College because there is not a geography department here, you know, things in the geosciences, I'm in the Honors College. And um, uh, another thing that you know we do differently is, uh, or we have decided actually after talking a little bit, is that he would focus more on strategies in large lectures, right? Which you do so well, and I don't know how to run a large lecture at all because in the honors college our classes are 16 to 24 students, so I will tell you some strategies that I use, you know, with small groups, uh, which obviously are different, but hearing to both of you. They still relate around the same things of student centeredness, like relevance to their life, and caring for a student. So these relationships are, you can use that across the spectrum in any discipline, right, in any uh, class size. Uh, the challenge we have in the Honors College, which is a fantastic challenge, but it is a challenge, is that all the students come from different disciplines. So we have, you know, engineers and finance majors and theaters and here we are in one class and how do I engage them in this particular topic? Um, so this being a small class, for example, I make my lectures interactive, right? Just one way you could do is just lecture. Uh, but uh, the benefit of inter having small is that uh, we use also readings. So it's a lecture and discussion of reading. So I mostly really use lecture to provide historical context right, for the text. And then we spend time um, intertwined, in a sense, between slides and things, right, and discussing the text. Um, so one way, uh, you know, is, of course, asking questions, right? You could pose one question to the entire class, and you could encounter silence, right, because students may first not understand the text if it's philosophically loaded and maybe too difficult for them. And I found that a better way to do it is break them in little groups first, you know, uh, maybe groups of five and either charge the same question to everybody or charge each uh, group a different question and spend five minutes where they amongst themselves uh, talk about this and then we open it up to the class and they are a lot more engaged and uh, with talking because they've covered things for themselves and found you know things from relevant quotations from the text. Um, another one is to make them active learners so you have to give them some responsibility obviously they read um, but I in the class uh, and these are strategies for a 100 level class right with different um, majors it's called world thought and experience so two semesters ago I thought I, I will be a geographer a little bit more here and bring my own discipline and so I assigned them each a country that they are responsible to read about uh, learn the history, you know, the cultures, follow the news of that country so that they are an expert in that country. And then they bring in uh, the knowledge that they acquire about the country to our discussions, right? So they know something that I don't know and they learn from each other um, in that way. And that has worked out really nicely. And uh, so they keep a journal on a weekly basis about this country. Um, first time I did it, you know, they did the journal for 10 weeks and they gave it to me at the end and the feedback was we really enjoyed discussing and bringing our countries in the class, uh, but we want to share more uh, and discuss more of that with each other. So I put that online. So now they are submitting their journal online on a weekly basis and they can uh, engage in discussions, right, where they bring citations from the text and react and compare and contrast their experiences. So just little different things where you kind of go every semester and see what works and what doesn't and how you can improve uh, your strategies, again, to return to that idea of student-centeredness and uh, relevance to their lives and um, building sort of relationships and making sure that they think that it, you matter to them, right? That their success matters, and your presence matters. So thank you. <laughs>